When was the last time you bought a new microwave, phone, or really any product? Did you read the little booklet that came with it? Whether you did or didn't, that booklet is really important. It's a warranty. Warranties are everywhere, and it's important to understand them so you can help protect your company. A warranty is a promise that a seller gives a buyer about the quality of its product. A warranty helps determine who's responsible and for what if a product breaks. Some of the specific questions warranties help us answer are, who's responsible if the product breaks? What are their responsibilities? And how long do they have those responsibilities? These questions must all be answered in a warranty to avoid confusion when things go wrong. There are two types of warranties you should know about, express warranties and implied warranties. We've already talked about express warranties. They're usually found in the back of a user manual. They're guarantees made by a seller that a product will not be defective during a certain period of time. They also define who's responsible if the product breaks. Implied warranties are different. Implied warranties are automatically provided to buyers by law. They're typically not written in that little booklet. Unless a contract specifically says otherwise, products automatically come with a few types of implied warranties, including the implied warranty of fitness, which is a guarantee that the product you bought will do exactly what you told the seller you needed it to do, and the implied warranty of merchantability, which is a guarantee that the product you bought will meet your reasonable quality expectations. Even though they may seem simple, implied warranties can cause a lot of uncertainty because the seller may not know exactly what the buyer expected from the product. Yet, the seller can still be held responsible for these expectations when the product breaks. Essentially, implied warranties create extra rights for the buyer beyond the express or written warranty. Fortunately, sellers don't have to be too concerned. Contract law allows the seller to get rid of implied warranties by including a statement in the contract that implied warranties are disclaimed or don't apply. With the implied warranties gone and the express warranty in place, the buyer and seller know exactly who's responsible if a product breaks. Let's see an example of these two warranties in action. Bob provides a two-year express warranty to his customers. If the bike breaks down due to a defect within the first two years after the customer buys the bike, Bob will repair or replace the bike for free. Bob's warranty statement also disclaims implied warranties. This means Bob only offers an express warranty. He does this for a few reasons. First, providing a warranty is a great way to give Bob's customers confidence in his bikes. Second, Bob wants to protect himself if one of the customers is unhappy with the bike. In short, Bob wants to know that he is only responsible for what is written in the express warranty. Even though the buyer will usually want to keep implied warranties in the contract, a seller like Bob should always disclaim them or risk having to take responsibility for a bike outside the terms of the express warranty. For these reasons, negotiating warranty language and disclaimers is often a critical part of contract negotiations. Okay, so let's review. There are two types of product warranties, express and implied. Smart sellers should get rid of any implied warranties by including a disclaimer statement in the express warranty. Thanks for watching. See you next time.